Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my first uh, video so bear with me if the uh, quality is not up to some of the uh, fancy camera work we get these days. Um, but uh, I just want to share with you how I installed a soak away crate to deal with grey water which is actually a washing machine discharge from my backyard. Um, there are various uh, pieces of information about how to build soak aways. Uh, one or two of them include using the uh, plastic soak away crates. Um, so I did some research with that. Uh, I couldn't find anything specifically on this particular project. So what am I doing? Um, so I have a grey water system that was dumping into my yard when I bought this house about 12 months ago. Um, I finally got around to uh, turning my attention to it. I found out that it was actually the washing machine discharged from the laundry room that was going out into the yard and discharging onto the surface. So we would get a bit of a foul smell and suds and whatnot on the surface of the yard at the bottom of the yard. Um, a little bit down the hill. Uh, not a huge nuisance, but the smell uh, did dr drift up to the house um, time to time. And uh, I also figured that it wasn't healthy to have it uh, discharge on the top of the ground. Uh, my city actually uh, uses the uh, International Building Code, um, and that actually states that uh, discharge of a grey water system onto the surface of the soil should be considered a nuisance. And it was certainly that for me. So uh, here's what I did. Uh, I'll show you with you the um, research I did. And then towards the end, I'll talk about the sizing. So uh, here we go. Um, let me share with you my project and uh, I hope you find it useful. So let me explain about the crates first. They're called soak away crates. Um, they're uh, various manufacturers. Aqua Blocks is one of them. Those are the ones that I happen to uh, purchase. Um, you can find out and research them all online. If you look under, if you Google soak away crates, there's going to be a whole bunch of different, you can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them from like local uh, pool supplies. Uh, I found that uh, the shipping can be quite expensive. So they're a little more expensive on Amazon where the shipping is included. But if you can find them at a local pool supply, you may be able to pick them up quick, cheaper. Anyway, let me explain uh, how they come. So the crates are shipped to you in pieces, flat packed like this, um, and you have to do a little bit of assembly. So they pretty much have uh, some end pieces. Um, and then inside they have some supports. I don't know if you can see that in there, but you see these ones right here. One, so you have the end piece supporting it. Then you have one piece right here, second vertical piece right there, and one piece on the end. And of course the sides. So they clip together. You can see the little clips in there. Um, you just need a uh, plastic mallet or something to, or a small hammer just to tap them down so that they clip together. And that's pretty much your crate built. I have a couple of them built right here. Then you're going to need, if you probably researched online, you're going to need some landscape fabric. It should be a non-woven geotextile. So this particular one I got from um, Granger Supply. Um, there's not so many that are... Uh, non-woven. There's uh, plenty of them at Home Depot and other places that are woven geotextile, but you can see here, see the uh, texture on there. And if you hold it up to the light, you can see through pretty well. So you want to get one that's fairly well open and drains quite well. That's to wrap the crate to stop uh, dirt and sand and whatnot getting into the crate. So that's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be running my washing machine line through the side or through the top um, with a two inch pipe that is currently installed that just runs into my yard. Um, so like I said, I want to take that um, from just dumping on the ground, which is, uh, I guess it was permitted back in the day, 40 years ago, whenever this house was built. Um, but uh, right now it's not uh, permitted to dump uh, washing machine water, gray water onto the ground. Um, so I want to go ahead and put it into the ground. So it's going to run into the crate, which is going to be covered with the landscape fabric. So then the water is going to right soak through the landscape fabric and out into the ground. So that's my uh, deal. So here is how I'm going to be wrapping the Aqua Blocks crate, the soak away crate with the uh, fabric. As I said, uh, you need a non-woven geotextile that's got a good uh, flow rate of water through it. So it's going to allow the water in and out of the crate in my case. I'm pumping the runoff from the washing machine is going to go inside the crate. So I want, to, I want it to flow out from the crate through the fabric 
into the uh, surrounding soil. So you can see here I have, this crate is about 26 inches by 18 and I have a three foot wide piece of uh, fabric. It's about 50 foot long. So I'm just gonna wrap it like this uh, and then fold the sides up and they should meet along the side, uh, both sides. And then I'm gonna just join it together. And then once it's down in the hole with the uh, gravel next to it, it's gonna all hold it together. So that's my plan for wrapping the crate. Okay, so here's what we're dealing with. Uh, the old pipe, as I said, this house was built in the 70s. Uh, there was a pipe coming, which is uh, I discovered after we moved in about nine months ago. Uh, the washing machine is discharging through this white pipe, so it comes down the yard. We're on a bit of a hill, and it just ends right here, and it's dumping onto the ground. So um, you can see I've started digging the hole for the crate right here. Um, so this pipe, uh, I'm going to bury it in the ground a few inches and it's going to run into the crate. Here's my uh, crate sitting with the fabric <coughs> ready to be wrapped and dropped in. Um, I'm going to punch a hole in the top or probably in the side right here and uh, run that white pipe. It's a two inch pipe into the crate um, and then uh, of course there's going to be gravel on the base of the uh, hole and on the sides. If you google it there's plenty of uh, videos, some of them based in England, um, explaining how to dig it and how much gravel and whatnot to put in there. So I'm going to dump the washing machine. Uh, water is going to go into the crate and then it's going to soak out through the crate, through the fabric, through the uh, gravel and out into the ground. And there we go, it'll be out of sight, out of mind and no smell right now. As it discharges, there's a smell that uh, wafts up to the backyard, which we don't want. So here we are, we have the hole dug and the crate fitted. Now I've got to estimate where to cut my pipe to get it to feed into the crate. I'm going to go through the top. So I want to end up there. I've got a 45 degree elbow and I want to cut it probably about here in order to get it shoot down into the crate in one of those right there. So I'd like to wrap this up and let uh, you guys know uh, how it went. Unfortunately I ran out of time and a little bit of patience um, to video the rest of this job. So I've got a few photographs here that I'll just explain what I did. So here is the pipe uh, I showed on the end of the previous clip, cutting the pipe to the right length so that the elbow and the piece would fit directly down into the crate. I broke off part of the crate and the crate's actually designed to have a circular pieces broken out of it to uh, insert pipes of various sizes. So I uh, opened up a, a piece big enough to, for the two inch pipe to go into. Uh, then as you can see here I wrapped the crate with landscape fabric. I did secure it with some pieces of tape um, but once it's in the hole uh, covered by the gravel. The gravel is also going to help to hold the landscape fabric in place. So this little hole you see right here, this break in the landscape fabric is where I'm going to insert the uh, pipe. So as I said, the washing machine water is going to go into the crate and then soak out of the crate into the ground around it. So if we go to the next photo, <coughs> you'll see here, um, here we go. I've glued the two inch pipe down into the opening in the crate and begun to fill it around with gravel. Um, I bought three quarter inch construction gravel from the local uh, uh, hardware store, I believe it was Home Depot. Um, so as you can see, the crate is fit, fit in the middle of the hole, the three quarter inch gravel around it. And of course there's gonna be three inch gravel on top. This is about, uh, uh, I think six to 12 inches. So about uh, nine inches or maybe a foot below the surface of the ground. Um, and I left uh, a few inches, I think about uh, six inches around the crate um, for the, and about another three or four inches uh, below it of gravel so that that gives it the water somewhere to soak into um, as it soaks out of the crate through the landscape fabric into the uh, gravel. The gravel will help it to soak out a little bit quicker and then it has time to percolate into the soil around. The soil is quite sandy in my yard, so it should uh, percolate out pretty quickly. Um, 
So if I go to the next photograph, just another angle, you can see here, so here's the three quarter inch gravel bag. Here again, the two inch pipe, um, and you just get a general view of, of the hole as it looks. So having said all that, how about the size of the crate and the amount of water that's going to dissipate out of the crate at what rate? Um, well, the crate that I have shown in this picture, um, I believe was about 33 to 35 gallons capacity. When you buy the crates, it'll tell you what the capacity is of the crate that you're buying, the water capacity. Um, and then uh, there are various online resources that you can find to calculate how quickly the water is going to percolate out through your soil. In other words, how, how long it's going to take for your crate to empty once it's got a certain amount of water in there. So here is one particular website that will help you to figure out the percolation rate of your soil, uh, greywateraction.org. Um, so they will, uh, well, there's a couple of options here. Uh, there's instructions on how to actually test your soil yourself with step-by-step -step instructions. Here or down below, there's a table, which is actually what I used um, to calculate. I know that I've got, uh, for example, a sandy slash fine sand uh, yard. So I figured being conservative, uh, about four gallons uh, per square foot per 24 hours. Um, so you can use that uh, to calculate how quickly this water is going to percolate out of the soil and therefore out and empty your uh, crate once it begins to fill up. So I calculated that uh, the capacity of my crate being 35 gallons, um, I'm putting a washing machine front loader washer in there which is about 12 gallons per wash. I figured that I could get probably two, about three washes in there before it was full. Um, my particular soil is probably percolating away. I calculated with by the square footage, etc., um, that I'm probably going to lose about one to maybe two inches maximum per hour out of the crate. Um, so based on that, um, I figured that we I could do three washes fairly comfortably back to back, which is the maximum that we ever do. So I figured I'd leave it like that. Um, I did have a slight concern that maybe if it got over full, I would see uh, that some of the soil around washing away. Well, it's now six months later. Um, and I'm happy to say that uh, everything's still in place. There's no evidence of anything washing away or any or any backing up of the water from the washing machines. Um, and uh, we have had some fairly intensive use. So that one crate was good for me. Of course, if you've got a higher usage or your percolation rate of your soil, the soil is more waterlogged, you can always put in additional crates um, uh, either above or excuse me, either below or next to the uh, crate to double up on them. So there we go. I hope that's been useful. Um, of course, check with your local city codes and uh, plumbing codes. Uh, make sure that whatever you're planning to put in your yard is going to be acceptable. And somebody's not going to come around and uh, ask you to dig it up later. Nobody wants to waste their time. Um, but uh, um, and that's, of course, a disclaimer. This is what I did done. It was acceptable for my particular city. Um, but please do check for your local codes and make sure that uh, whatever you're doing is compliant and fits in with uh, the requirements of the local area. So good luck and thanks for watching. Please share this if it's been useful. Uh, comment below, ask questions, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.